If we won our case, and states could not allocate their electoral college votes according to congressional districts, because the principle that would lead to us winning, the principle of one person, one vote, would also mean congressional allocation was unconstitutional. Because the question is, what is the most equal standard you could apply? And in the context of state allocation, that's simple proportional allocation of electoral college votes. That's the standard that would have to be applied if we succeed in getting the court to apply one person, one vote to the state's allocation itself.